Alright, All right. hey, don't make me come over there. Alright, here we go. So this one, uh, this pool ball, pool ball A, comes and hits another pool ball, uh, and then the pool ball A, the final velocity of A is zero. So this kind of a collision is a what type? Yeah, this is an elastic collision. So I'm going to say PI equals PF. Wow, that's supposed to be PI. And then that's um, MAVA, and then VB initial is zero. So we're looking for VB final. Um, so then that's going to be MAVA equals MB. VB final. So VB final is equal to MA VA over MB. And since MB is MA over 2, that gives me 2 VA. So then the velocity is 7 meters per second. Is it negative 7? No. It's not? Yes. No, it goes in the same direction. Really? It goes in the same direction, but that one's not. This one is uh, about energies. So it's like on top of an incline, and then the ball slides. Did I say slides? Yeah. So this, I should have put that this ball slides because we haven't. Did we do moment of inertia and all that stuff? No. We did rotation, right? Yeah. Yeah, we did kinetic energy of rotation, right? Nice. Oh, yeah. Why not? Why not? Okay. Um, all right. So if this ball rolls down the hill, okay, so like this. If this ball is rolling down the hill, and this is theta, and this is d, does it make sense to you that when this ball gets to the bottom, it has kinetic energy? Yes? Does it also make sense to you that this ball has kinetic energy of rotation? Because it's, it's rolling. So not only is it moving straight forward, but it's rolling as well. And so we say PE equals KE plus KER. And then on your in your book, on page whatever, I think I mentioned this before, there's a table that shows um, the moment of inertias. So this is MGH. This is 1 half MV squared. And then the rotate. Why did I do that? The rotational equivalent of one half mv squared, m is equal to what in rotation? Yeah, it's i. Remember when the Caltech people were here? Remember they did the wheel and turning and all that business? And then um, v is the same as what? Omega. So this is omega squared. So then this is mgh equals... 1 half mv squared plus, and then i for a ball is 2 fifths mr squared, and then omega squared is v squared over r. <laughs> it's awesome. Oh, v squared over r squared, sorry. So my r squareds cancel here, and my m's cancel because it's the same ball. So I get gh is equal to v squared over 2 plus... 2 fifths v squared. So this becomes 0 0.5 plus 0 0.4, which gives us gh is equal to 0 0.9 v squared. Uh, because omega squared, omega is v over r. Do you remember that? That's how we get omega. We take the velocity, change the velocity, divide by r. So omega squared is v squared over r squared. So then here we get uh, we get g times h. So here, oh jeez, I'm gonna write this over because this is what mass. That's why it got replaced there. So g h is equal to v squared over two plus. I should already wrote that, so I'll just convert this thing. That's equal to 0 0.9 v squared. So v is equal 
to the square root of, I guess it would be 10 over 9 times GH. Like hypersensitive or something. So it, it won't, like when I pick the pen up, it won't acknowledge that the pen's not there. I've realized it right now. This should say 1 half. There should be a 1 half here. So that puts a 1 half here, which cancels that 2. So then this becomes 1 fifth. Because it's 1 half mv squared, 1 half i omega squared. They're like the same thing. So then that turns this um, 1 half plus 1 fifth is 0 0.7 v squared. So then that just makes this bottom a 7. So it's the same logic, it's just replace that. <coughs>